Today, I'll be talking about why many attractive guys are insecure. You would think you look good, you feel good, everything's good. But a lot of times, this is not the case. I think the manosphere, a lot of guys over-exaggerate the looks. It's definitely important, but, but a lot of times, women can be intimidated by that, and you'll get a lot of pushback. I've even had this, man. I've had women just disrespect me when it's uncalled for, you know? A lot of times, you look too good for that chick, so she feels some type of way attractive so you playing a different game at this point i have a story um a girl made me insecure one time right and i had one dude say like oh you don't tell no story times i tell too many story times i tell too much of my business right most of you guys that talk online they ain't saying this much stuff in detail but i'm, I'm gonna tell y'all about a time i was insecure when a girl tried me i believe i was either 18 or 19 got some head from the chick boom Honestly, it wasn't all that. It wasn't all that. I wasn't really into it like that. It was like 4 or 5 a.m. in the morning in the back of my car. So, boom, she gave me head. And then the next day, she hits me up. She's like, how was it? And I said, honestly, it was okay. It could have been better. Then she hits me back up like, well, I've had bigger. And then she put a dead emoji. And, dog, uh, I was insecure for a minute about that shit. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Because I only messed with, like, two girls maybe two, three girls before I messed with this girl at 18 or 19. I think I was 19. And them other girls, they was hyping me up. And I'm like, maybe the other girls were lying and this girl, like, she trying me like I ain't packing like that. You know what I'm saying? So I was feeling some type of way. And, you know, then she tried to backtrack on it because I didn't respond to it. And then she, like, apologized and all this other stuff. But that shit had me feeling some type of way. And I was insecure about that stuff until I got out and started slaying a couple chicks. Then once I slayed a couple of chicks and they was hyping me up, you know, had this one chick call me foot long, not foot long, Subway. She, my nickname was Subway. She just came through, get beat down every now and then. So when I had situations like that, or I had girls that couldn't take it. Then I started feeling myself again. I'm like, man, bump this girl. I don't care what she talking about. I, I know what I got going on. You know what I'm saying? And if you ain't packing, it is what it is. You know, we all given different things but I was feeling insecure about that shit just off this one girl telling me this shit and she told me this shit because she was insecure a lot of times women will be insecure and they try to push it back on you yeah she, she knew her hair game wasn't like that and now she's trying to push it back on me that her hair game ain't that that I'm not packing like that that's how they'll do you bro a lot of these women are insecure and instead of accepting their insecurities they're gonna push some type of insecurity onto you but once you know yourself, dog, you unfazed by that shit. See, the, see the, the man I am today, that shit wouldn't mean nothing to me. She could say whatever to me. Who are you? You know what I'm saying? Words don't affect me anymore. But back then, dog, that shit made me feel some type of way. And I had to get back out there and start clapping some cheeks. And then once I was doing my thing, girls hyping me up again. Then I started feeling myself again. But the, the, that type of confidence, it should come within. You know what I'm saying? But back then, I didn't have a lot of experience. So it's like, damn, is she right? Like, I really ain't got it like that. Maybe the other girls are lying on me. So I started feeling, my, I started feeling some type of way, you know, till I got back out there. And I find that nowadays, bro, a lot of these women, they don't know how to be women. Right? A lot of men don't know how to be men. A lot of women don't know how to be women. A lot of these women, it's like you're dating them, you're messing with them, and it's like they had constant competition. When they see that attractive guy, they feel intimidated by you. Now they feel like they had competition with you. It's like y'all not building anything together. And I got another story time. And I got love for these people. It's no hate if they see this video. But I used to work for this lady. And she was about to get married to a dude I knew. Right? So the dude that she about to get married to, he was at the restaurant helping, working. He the one that put me on with the job. And one time I'm working and some customer comes in and they ask for the owner and they looking for the guy that put me on with the job, the dude she about to get married to. And she just got super pissed off. She's like, who told you he's the owner? Like, she just started going on and on and on about it. Like, getting pissed off, getting mad at the dude she about to get married, that he said he was the owner. And it's like, this dude's here every single day helping financially. He used his connections to help you. He probably helping you with your taxes. Like he helping you in different, every aspect he's trying to help you with your business. And someone mistakes him for the owner. Now you feel some type of way because you had constant competition. 
And that's a lot of women nowadays. They add constant competition. They don't really want to be with you. They don't want to love on you. They want to compete with you. These type of women are dangerous, and there's a lot of women like that out here. So they will make you insecure. They will try to shit test you constantly. Get away from those type of women, bro. These women that are trying to make you insecure. Now, sometimes, if she really want to rock with you, she going to test you. She going to test you a little bit. That's just part of the game. She got to see if you are who you really say you are. But if it keeps on coming, dog, kick her to the curb. Because she should be with, if she with you, she should be on your program. But a lot of these women, they will never get on your program because they want to run their program, even though they don't even know what they're doing. They want to run the program. They want to be the man. They want to be equal when it benefits them. And then when it's time to be ladylike, oh, oh, you need to be a gentleman. They try that bullshit on you, bro. So realize a lot of these women are thinking like, man, they at competition with you and they will try to make you insecure. They will try to make you insecure. If you hurt her feelings, she's going to try to hurt your feelings. And and when you look at it, a lot of these women are kind of evil, bro, when I think about it, bro. <laughs> a lot of these women are evil because I can't tell you how many women I've talked to. And when they get cheated on, they'll stay in a relationship and then cheat back. Like, a lot of these women are extremely petty. They will make you insecure if you don't know who you are, if you don't know yourself. Because what sense does that make? If someone cheats on you, instead of leaving the relationship and moving on, you're going to lie to that man and say, I accept you. We can move past this. And then next you know, she go smash his friend. She go smash uh, one of his old homeboys, something like that. That's how they do, bro. Because they are petty. So any, and, and I'll tell you what, bro, they will hold on to some shit from years ago. You might say something to her, she'll hold on to it. Then it come back up years later. It doesn't matter if it was five years ago. If you really hurt this chick's feelings and she, she forgive you for it, she's still going to hold on to it, bro. These chicks are spiteful and pity. Most of them. So you being an attractive guy, bro, you playing the game a little differently, bro. Don't think it's going to be all good. It's going to be a walk in the park just because you look good. Now, attractive women, it's going to be easy. They're going to come. They're going to come. But some of them might come with a lot of bullshit. Some of them might come with a lot of test. Some of them might come trying to make you insecure. Like that girl did with me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and after that, she said, you know, I know I didn't do the best job. It's like, bitch, how you say you know you didn't do the best job, but I told you it was okay, it could have been better, and you got offended by that. But then after you apologize, you're like, yeah, I know I didn't do the best job. Like, bitch. But it's like, I didn't know myself. So just her saying, you're not the biggest and putting a dead emoji. Bro, that shit had me hit. At 18, 19 years old, you try me like I'm not packing. That shit had me hit. I'm not going to lie to y'all. That's why I tell y'all, bro. I tell y'all everything. What's on my mind, I be talking on it. I be speaking on it. Most of these people don't, they don't even talk like this on their Patreons, bro. Come on. But yeah, man, you got to be careful, bro. Because these women... A lot of them will feel some type of way. When you look better than the chick, when you in better shape than the chick, she might feel some type of way, bro. She know other girls are choosing on you. She going to try to make you insecure. So just have your head on the swivel, bro. Keep doing your thing and love yourself and believe in yourself, bro. Because now it, it doesn't matter what a girl tells me. You know, I know who I am. <laughs> you know, I know what I know who I am and I know what I'm capable of. And that's why you got to get out here and really live life and try new things. Really be having some type of emotion, you feel me? But that's all I got for y'all today. Make sure to like the video, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch y'all boys in the next one.